get a bit of practice in, are we? <laughs> you all right? We need a lot of practice, I can get. Shall we have a quick game? Let's have a game. I'm slightly taller, so I'll come back to this line. I'm afraid. You were lucky. <laughs> the darts. I was wondering, looking at uh, Roy Laidlaw, he's your uncle, isn't he? Sure is. Now, I wasn't sure, was he the first guy to invent the spin pass? I've no idea, Austin, but he used to, uh, what I call a cat candor, he used to, he used to spin, he used his spin it the wrong, the wrong way, off, off the left. Uh, but he was, he was all right off the right. Oh, is that a triple? No. What, what do you remember about the early days? you remember the fond memories of picking up the ball for the first time as a kid and then progressing all the way through to play for Scotland for your first game? Growing up in the town was a wonderful place to, to play rugby. The town is Jed, but the club's called Jed Forest. And it was, it was sort of hub of the town because you know, it was a quiet little place. And, yeah. and then it just progressed from there, you know, your, your age group stuff. And then you, know, and you start to realise, you know, if you stick in, you can maybe play professionally and make a living from it. Roy Laidlaw, played in the 87 World Cup and you've made the team of the 2015 World Cup. You sort of flourished, became a different scrum half, attacked the fringes a lot more. Was that like a conscious effort of yours? I think somebody like Vern, he almost like empowers you to, to go and play the game and, and certainly I took a great deal from that and you know, I was able to go and do that. Double tops. <laughs> Good height. There's a... There's a nice dartboard in the change rooms. Do the lads it's, play then? Uh, it's down the young lads' end, so... Anyone any good? Uh, ben Morgan, I think. He's a bit of a shark. He looks like he's spent a lot of time in a pub. Though, he does. He? He's very good at pub sports. Very good illustration of why Greg Laidlaw was nominated for the 2015 World Player of the Year award. This weekend, uh, Gloucester playing pretty well. Um, what would, what would you say are the defining tactics for you? I feel as though we, we just need to try and break the game up a little bit uh, and maybe not always go through the forwards and, and certainly not overuse the forwards. You keep speeding the play, you get little offloads, get on the front foot, it becomes so much easier to, to attack. Do you think backs are getting a bit bored? Probably. We need to make sure that we step up as a back line uh, and take control of the game. Do you really think we should have used the, the electronic scoreboard? That would have been easier oh, on the maths. That would have been a great idea. We can use that for the last game, can't we? Look at that. This makes maths up. This is what the forwards use. <laughs> the Premiership, it's, it's a fantastic yeah, comp. Um, and big games every week, and you know, that's where I've came down. I've loved it. I love playing at King's Home and, and then spent going away from home as well. So that was a big driving factor for you then, the actual intensity of the games and you move down here. Uh, that's difficult to do and it takes a lot of courage to do that. But do you think you're, you're now just starting to see the real fruits of it? I think so. Austin, I mean, you know, I could have stayed up in Scotland, but I felt you know, the time was right for me if I, if I wanted to really push on in my career. It was. I needed to put myself out there and move on and you know I'm delighted um, so far the way things have turned out.